Hey, how's it going guys? Straight from Wixgadget here, and today we have an in-depth review on the Easy Tether app on the Android OS. Now, what Easy Tether does is, it is a tethering app which lets you connect with your phone through your computer via USB and stream your internet, your 3G internet, onto your actual computer. Now, this is very convenient and there's no monthly charge, so let's just walk you through it right now. So, for the purposes of this review, we've shown it to you on the Moto Droid X. Now, that should not change the effects of the actual app at all. So, as long as it's Android and it meets the requirements of the app, it should work. So, go to the Android Market and then search up Easy Tether, and you'll get two versions. One is a light version, which is free of charge, and then you have an actual paid version, which costs $10. So, the only difference between the light version and the full version is that the light version blocks HTTPS sites. Um, and they also claim that you can also stream to your PS3, Xbox, 360, and your Wii on the full version, but I haven't tried that out for myself. But when I did have the live version, it did in fact block the HTTPS sites, and I realized that personally, I visit those sites a lot. So I just I needed to buy the full version, and I haven't regretted it yet. So once you download the live version, it's a, uh, once you open up the app, it's gonna have page by page tutorial on how to set it up. It's really easy. All you have to do is you have to uh, change a few settings on your phone, not for the worst, but just settings that you wouldn't even imagine that would have been there, and then you have to install the free. Uh, application onto your computer it supports Windows Mac and Ubuntu so most computers will work with work with this so once you install that software it's really easy to install and then you're good to go so let's open up the paid application because that's the main purpose of this review so let's go to easy tether pro up here so Again, I've already installed it, so it's not going to look like this right off the bat. But first you're going to have, again, the tutorial. It's going to have a page-by-page -page tutorial. And then after that, then you'll have this page forever in the app. It's really simple. So once you get this page, then you have... The application looks like this. You have the USB, which you checkmark to enable the actual tethering feature. And then you have some network options like Resolver and UDP Pastor, as you can see here. And then when you click the menu button, then you get Setup Wizard online help and about. Setup Wizard is just going through the page by page tutorial once again in case you accidentally un uninstalled something or you forgot. And then the online help is just some support forums online, some facts. And about just tells you the application uh, number and the copyright information. So nothing we really care about. But so right now let's just enable USB because we're going to show you a quick test on how fast this actually is. So just to quickly to give you a quick demonstration on the speeds right now we're getting with the 3G, let's go to wixgadget.com on the actual phone. Wixgadget.com. And this is the full desktop version of the site. It's not, it's not the mobile version, so it's going to take longer because there's all these graphics. So that's fairly fast, wasn't too bad. But, so that's the speed that you get on this phone. And then when you actually want to tether on your computer, which I have my laptop right up here. When you actually tether onto your computer, assume that you have the software already installed. So I'm just focus this right now. So yeah, so you're gonna have to connect it via USB, which I already have connected. And just to show you that there's no Wi-Fi enabled or any network going on on my computer right now, let's just go to google.com for a test. And as you can see there, it's unable to connect to the internet. So right now we have nothing installed, I mean no internet. And now when I connect my phone, let me just zoom in before I connect it to show you how it's going to actually turn up. Let's focus. Okay, well, it's not focusing right now, sorry. I'm not that experienced with the cameras yet. But we connect it through the phone. And assume that you've done, again, all your setup and everything. It should work uh, correctly. So up here on the notification, you're getting a lot of different not uh, ongoing notifications, like USB debugging, uh, USB connection, and easy tethers enabled. 
and connection uh, detected, but that could just be specific to DroidX, so just ignore that. Just You're probably going to get these three main ongoing notifications, which isn't a bad thing. And right there, as you can see right now, a pop-up box appeared. I just can't get this to focus right now, but it just tells you that connection has been established. Um, I'm running Windows 7, so it may the notification may look a little bit different if you're running a Mac or an older version or whatever it is. So now we have connection ready to go. So now let's go to Google.com. And there we go. Let's just focus this. Okay, that's good. So, just Google and else try Wixgadget.com. Let's just compare it with the mobile version. I mean, on the phone. And there you go. It's loading, and it's all there. It's been like, that's exactly how it is. Oh, you know what? Actually, let me just try going incognito because some of these images might have already been loaded before. So going incognito means that there's nothing loaded before. So let's go to Wixgadget.com on incognito. And it's pretty much the same. No big difference there. But yeah, so that still loaded up really fast considering there's a good amount of images going on on the website right now. But let's try some more heavy content streaming. Let's go to CNN.com. CNN. And that's also really fast. Uh, so now let's try some actual video streaming. Let's try Hulu.com. Let's, tr let's just check out an uh, episode of The Office. One of my favorite shows. So Hulu loaded up pretty fast. And let's just do a random episode of the seminar. Let's just test out some of these video streaming. How fast it really is. And again, this is all incognito, so nothing has been loaded previously on this window. So it's all new to the browser. Going up pretty smooth. The following program is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by Helmet. Okay, well, there's no need to uh, play the entire episode, but you get the point. It's not taking any time to buffer, which means that 3G is actually streaming up, streaming pretty fast, which is a really good sign. So let's just close this now. But you get the point. It's pretty fast, actually really fast. Uh, but remember, just take into consideration that we're actually using Verizon's 3G network. So depending on how fast your network is and where you are, then obviously the speeds will vary. But just showing you how it's really it's really close to the actual speeds of the phone to the laptop, so you're not losing any internet speeds with Easy Tether. So we really recommend we really recommend that you buy this app, try it out, at least get the light version, and then if you like uh, if you really like it, and you think you're going to use it, then upgrade to the uh, paid version because again, it's really worth it. I have not regretted it once since I bought it, and I've been using it for about like nine months or so, I believe. But yeah, so. This has been a Wix Gadget review, and we sh and we'll see you next time. Check out wixgadget.com. Again, we're right now um, we're growing really fast. You guys are viewing our site a lot, which thank you. But we need more staff. So if you're really interested in writing for wixgadget.com, or if you think you can help out with editing or whatever it is, just shoot us an email. Go to our website. We have information over there in the contact or team or whatever. There's a lot, all these tabs uh, will refer re refer you to that. So we need more staff and. Just keep visiting us because we're growing. So, hope to be the next big thing. So, until next time, guys, it's been Shrey from Mooks Gadget, and see you next time.